It's snowing outside. We got a nor'easter coming to New York and let me tell you it is nice and warm and cozy in the house so I am going to relax and <sighs> got me a bottle of wine and I'll be watching the shows for the next two days. So here we go. Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, robertanton.com, coming to you with your note frills commentary from a singer. Tonight, we were X Factor, the top final 12, whatever they want to call it, becomes the final 13. Tonight, public voting starts and is open for two hours after the show ends. And how do you vote? Well, you can vote by going to the Verizon X Factor app. It's the Extra Factor app. By calling the number, um, they have a toll-free number and a regular straight direct 55855 number at xfactorusa.com. And Verizon subscribers can also vote via text and only Verizon subscribers. So they were talking about a big twist in the opening and I was like, wild card! <laughs> And if you watch my last X Factor commentary when when uh, Diamond White went home, you see that I was like Simon looked like he was up to something. Uh, he was his mind was already working on this, and he talked to everybody. So yes, they decided to ask Diamond White to come back. Now, want to be a pip if she ends up winning, just like Melanie Amaro did when she came back last time. Oh, yes, it would. The theme of the week tonight was songs from the movies. Okay, and I tried to list some of the movies if I knew what they were or if they said what they were. We started out with Team Britney and Aaron Ray did American Boy by Estelle featuring Kanye West. He started out sitting on a motorcycle, singing slow and sweet. This was very Usher-esque. I wrote because it really was. He sounded pretty good and had some good moves and then he broke out with a rap. Oh yeah, boy, you better work it out. See, he got something up his sleeve right there. Nice work. Just really nice work. Not the most impressive vocals, but a very nice overall performance. L.A. say he just found his vocal identity. Demi said she was speechless and he was more smooth and he looked like a star. Simon said Britney did a really good job with him and he's turning into a little pop star. Team Demi was up next with Paige Thomas she did Take My Breath Away by Berlin from Top Gun. She descended from the sky on oh, this. Just came out of the sky. Descended from the ceiling, you know, with the little things and all this billowy down and stuff going on. It was really dramatic and it was very, very impressive. She actually sounded pretty good on this though. I liked her though. I really did. Demi was cheesing the whole time because she knew she had hit a home run on this production specifically. L.A. said the production was amazing and the song was good, but he wasn't blind on the way. Britney said the beginning was the best part. Simon said the track needed to go somewhere. Team LA was up next and Vino Alain did When Love Man's a Woman by Percy Sledge from a movie by the same name. And this is really more of his type of song and style. He started out nice with good emotion and passion. He looked a little stunted at the mic when he was standing there at the mic stand but opened up a bit when he left it behind. He picked up the mic and left the mic stand behind. I felt like he really, you know, just started to shine a little more. He had a much better vocal than last week, but the ending was kind of messy. Um, Britney said the performance showed how unique and special his voice was. Demi said that was a phenomenal performance and left her speechless, but she has a hard time seeing him as a number one artist. And Simon said he went from zero to hero in one week. So if you're enjoying the commentary, please make sure to thumb it up, thumb it up for me and let me know that you are enjoying it. And also let other people know that you have been watching it and that you are enjoying it and I really really appreciate it. Team Simon was up next with Emblem 3. They did a My Girl California Girls medley. The crowd was going crazy on this. And though I didn't think it was their best performance, but they always have a lot of infectious energy and playfulness that I really really like. LA said they were actually perfect. Britney said she was blown away at them making the song their own. Demi said she thought they were really great but Simon shouldn't have plugged them one of his other groups and she was talking about them having like a little mix of uh, One Direction, What Makes You Beautiful underneath the song and whatever. I thought it was enjoyable and very, very, very recognizable, which is very important. Team Britney was up next with Beatrice Miller doing Irish Google Goo Dolls from City of Angels and someone did this on The Voice last week and I wasn't crazy about it because it didn't go anywhere. Okay, so we'll see what happened with her. She was vocally tired in rehearsals but you couldn't tell when she started her performance. She has such a distinct tone and took a moment to drag the mic stand across the stage before dropping it. I always love stuff like that and she's such a young performer. I was like, you better work, girl. This was really a very pretty 
performance very good though too many splashes of colors in her homeless woman outfit <laughs> L.A. said the tone of her voice sounds like a hit record. Demi said the way she pours her soul into her songs is incredible. Simon said she wasn't like someone at the age of 13, and he could see her really working as an artist. So they announced that on the results show tomorrow night, One Direction will be performing not one, but two songs live. Team L.A. was up next with Tate Stevens doing Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi, and this was perfectly fit to him. He sounded resonant and strong on the song and had a nice determination while engaging the audience into what he was doing. Uh, Britney said he definitely is a true cowboy and he nailed it. Demi said she loves him and thinks he has what it takes. Simon said it feels like he's arrived back in the competition. Team Simon came up next with Lyric 145 doing super fragile, casualistic, FBI, the docious. I can't even say it without singing it, okay? So I can't get it without singing it. From Mary Poppins. They still had a lot of color going on with this, but... They were the focus of the proceedings and their talents were displayed. That is what I really enjoyed. That is what I wanted out of them. I want them to be the dead focus of everything and everything that they can do because they are so entertaining in and of themselves. I like the song choice and they were playful with the judges and spitting fire times. I was like, y'all better go ahead and do that thing. you right up in there. L.A. said he hated it, but it was really good, inventive, and perfect. Britney said that the actrix were intriguing and entertaining. I very much agree, Britney. Demi said they got her so hyped. Team Britney had Diamond White, yay, coming back, ah. She did I Have Nothing by Whitney Houston from The Bodyguard. She was in an all-white pants suit for this with fake diamonds, you know. I loved it. And doing a really big, iconic song. I could hear the youth and inexperience in her voice, but she definitely had loads of potential because she handled the song and didn't let it handle her. I've heard some adults do this, and the, the song really handled them. She was right on top of it the whole way and giving all that she has to give. The performance wasn't stellar, but I thought it was very, very decent. L.A. said it was an ambitious song choice and she brought it home. Demi said that it tugged at her heartstrings. Simon said this proves dreams can come true and it was a great song, vocal, and performance. Team Demi was up next with CC Fry, Eye of the Tiger. She did Survivor from Rocky and after the performance, Mario asked her, how do you pronounce your last name? And she said, it's Fry like frying pan. So we finally got that right. Everybody calling her everything but a child. Fry, fray, fro, foo, she gonna go home, you know what I'm saying, if she don't do what she's supposed to do. <laughs> She came out with a little hip-hop swagger and her leopard spots were back. Um, for some reason, she sounded very adolescent on this to me. She usually has such a mature sound in her vocal that it kind of surprised me. And I was like, mm, what's going on here? I don't know that I like this CC. L.A. said the ending was strong, but it didn't blow him away. Britney said she felt like she brought fire and was courageous. Simon said the song choice was horrible, no imagination, nothing different from the original, and she's going in the wrong direction. So that mean you didn't like it, Simon? <laughs> Team Britney was up next with Carly Rose, Son and Claire doing It Will Rain by Bruno Mars from the Twilight series Breaking Dawn Part 1. I don't know how I got all that in. She started out sweet, tender, and low, and she was caressing every note. Then she launched into the chorus with a totally ferocious attack, just big and ferocious. Okay, I said it already in my notes. This was stripped down and beautiful, and she got emotional as she finished the song. I thought it was almost a perfect performance just just right there on the cusp of being perfect LA said it was heartfelt and honest Demi said it was night and day from last week and she's incredible Simon said it's a huge improvement from last week and she'd have a hit with that song and we're watching a star in the making next up had team LA's Jason Brock doing I believe I can fly by R Kelly from Space Jam and as soon as they said the movie I knew the song he'd be singing because I used to do this song all the time. So this was another stripped down performance that just let his vocals 
and interpretation shine. It felt like he didn't really know what to do with his hands at first uh, while he was like at the mic stand. But when he picked up the mic, he was he, he was a little better as far as that's concerned. But he was sounding like the old Jason and was even soaring vocally above the choir. Yeah, of course he got a choir. You can't do this song without a choir, okay? And I wrote, Jason got a little soul, y'all. Britney said it was an improvement from last week, but it feels like a Vegas lounge act. Demi said she feels like it's predictable and cabaret. Simon said he likes him, but he doesn't believe he can fly and he looks like a singer in an Italian restaurant. <laughs> Even with Simon being mean, sometimes he is funny to me. And I'm gonna have to add this also. Chloe said she felt like he took him to church and I will definitely have to agree with that. But on Jason, his voice was excellent and he really touched me in this but I will have to agree with all three of the judges Vegas Lounge at Cabaret and Italian Restaurant are all on point as far as his look and I think the problem is LA is going to have to find an outfit or outfits styling that fits his body type because he has a strange body type and it, he, it, he really needs to find a styling and a look. He also needs to get in the mirror and watch himself move and find a way to move that is more theatrical and, and maybe even kingly that will appeal to the audience because right now he just kind of flounces and stuff like that. And to me, even watching him, sometimes I'm like, mm, you know, <laughs> make me want to suck my teeth, boy. But because I love your voice, your style, your passion, your interpretation, but your look, your styling, and your movements leave something to be desired. That is my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Team Simon had the pimp spot. Last up was the group formerly known as Lilas and 1432. We gonna call them. The audience chose a new name for them, Fifth Harmony. Do you guys like that? I think it's all right. They did A Thousand Years by Christina Perry from Twilight. And our first soloist was pretty darn good. And the girl all came in with some beautiful tight harmony. And then they got a nice key change in the second solo and she blew it up. Okay, the only names I know are Dinah and now Laura. So, you know, I'm, I'm, the others are coming along. They introduced them and if they stay in the competition, hopefully I will know all of their names. But I don't know the, all the names of the other groups either. They did a good job and I wrote it was just too short. LA said he was impressed and they nailed it. Britney said they shined the whole way. Demi said they're all powerful vocalists and she wasn't crazy about the arrangement, but she loved their vocals on it. What did you guys think? Ugh. I am wiped out. Mario stole the line again, just like Carson Daly did. From who? The originator himself. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest, please dial carefully. And I have to give Ryan a shout out every time they say it because it was his line and they have all been copying, imitating. But imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So I have done the X Factor tonight. I will also be covering it tomorrow night. And hopefully I'll be getting around to the voice at some point during the week. I hope to watch it actually in the morning. This is Robert Anton, robertanton.com. Please make sure to thumb this up and pop your comments down in the comments section. All right, I'm out. Peace.